It's fucking steamy out today, man. We got the whole kit on. Too hot. The, I mean, it might, if you're in Thailand, this might be a reflect, refreshingly cool morning. But here in New England in the early spring, today is hot and it's perfect. Couldn't ask for a more refreshing morning. Like it's humid, it rained last night. And uh, I'm just thinking about tonight where I gotta, <clears throat> I gotta fucking make this whole video. Uh, well, you know, I don't have to, but I feel like I should. Uh, about this article that came out in the Telegraph last night, or the other day. about it but it's this fucking idiot wrote this article man and they got paid to do it obviously by you know meat industry or something or they're just doing it for clicks because you know more people just want to hear good things about their bad habits than hearing the truth but uh you know some somebody on the forum who showed it to me was like uh yeah, I don't waste my time with stupid articles like this. And I'm like, but this is the telegraph. So yeah, people are reading this stupid shit. And I think the people who actually wrote it might actually believe it. That or they're just, you know, lying scumbags. Or both. Could be both. And uh, we can't let the public just, you know, just be misle misled by this bullshit. So yeah, are there better things to do? Then fucking destroy these stupid papers that people write. Like, you know, a, a legitimate scientific article comes out that says, hey, look what we found out. And then, the, you know, these fucking idiots come and... Ah, look at that! Just regurgitating fucking bullshit, man. And people believe it. It's unacceptable, so... And, it, you know, it's a great way to be an activist, to find, like, the biggest, most pressing issues, you know? Focus, focus on the, the stupidest, the worst of the worst. Because <laughs> it's so fucking easy to just destroy, man. So, yeah, I guess I'm looking forward to doing that tonight. Got the video all set up, ready to go. Just got to record it. And, and do some quick edits on it after that. Uh, you know, Vegan Gains style, man. Like, Vegan Gains is one of the most successful activists on the planet right now. And he does it by focusing on the fucking idiots. He doesn't, you know, engage in intelligent discourse most of the time. Most of the time, Vegan Gaines is out there smashing the fucking liars, the, the swindlers, the cheaters, you know? The people who are taking money, dirty money. You know, he, he goes out and bashes the retards, the, <laughs> the idiots. And that's what I'm gonna do tonight. See you later. Oh man, so, forgot to, vlog what I eat, man. <laughs> Didn't record what I ate today. So now I'm gonna have to not have dinner because I might have eaten too much. <laughs> just thinking of, uh, just, yeah, actually, it was just fucking pouring rain, man. It was so hot today. And then the rain came and I was in Walmart and I heard it go all over, you know, uh, through the ceiling, and I'm like, oh, fuck. So I'm in the checkout line, I turn around, and I'm like, I gotta buy some goggles. Because I was in Walmart just to get this helmet. It's a little uh, tight, it's a little too small, but it's better than the one I was wearing. That's why I was wearing a hat this morning, because my helmet uh, was too loose, so I was wearing a hat to make it tighter. So I'd rather have a helmet that's too tight. And I'm like, oh, you know, shit, I don't know, I can't. I can't afford a helmet right now. Like, I don't have a hundred bucks for a fucking helmet. And uh, then today, before I leave work, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I can go to Walmart and get a fucking helmet. You know, like, shit. 
Don't don't be a fucking complainer as opposed to a trainer because you uh <laughs> you, you, you you know you can't afford like a nice fucking road bike. Like spend a hundred bucks. Get a goddamn bicycle. You'll you'll save yourself a lot of money doing that. You're like, oh no, no, no. Nope. Get a bike. If you can't take a if you if you don't just walk everywhere you go, a bike will save you money. If you're not a, a walker 100% of the time, a bicycle will save you money. So get a fucking bike. Don't complain. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, man. Uh, I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about being a problem versus part of the solution. And uh, where's my fucking train of thought? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, little choo-choo? No! No! Ah! They are just imagining the possibilities, man. Be uh, that a lot. Most people don't realize how many careless people there are in the world. When you really ask people questions. Or, you, you know, you start talking to them about, like, extreme healthy living or, you know, like, trying to have a positive impact on the people, trying to reduce your negative impact on the planet, seriously, taking it seriously, not just, oh, you know, I try to save water, keep the house a little less warm. That's pussy shit, man. I'm talking about changing your diet, changing what goes in your mouth, getting on your bike. A lot of people don't realize how many people there are that really are part of the problem as opposed to part of the solution that really don't want to fix things. And just like, man, I, you know, I, I, I gotta fucking put my disclaimer out there, you know? Oh, we're not gonna be perfect. But it's like if people start living correctly, man. Living correctly, going back to basics, like what's really fucking important in life? Sleep, water, sugar. Having a warm place, to, you know, a place to sleep that'll keep you alive, like clean water, clean air. The basics. The essentials for human fucking survival, man. If we start focusing on that, because we're not meeting our needs. Shit, I gotta put the cover on, shit. Waterproof camera, bitches. If we start focusing on that, you say you can't save the world, but look how much we can fucking do. You know, you say you can't change things, it's like, look what the fuck. Look how much better we can make the fucking planet. You know, the just possibilities, that's, that's the message I'm trying to get across. Alright. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna haul ass home in the rain. Then I'm gonna tear apart some shit cuts! Oh yeah, remember what I ate? Uh, I had an orange. That was free. I had, a, a, you know, a gallon and a half of water or something like that. Woo! And I had Daterade, $7, uh, 1200 calories, let's say. So I like to round up the cost to the nearest quarter. So I round the cost up for you guys and I round the calories down. So I say I, I eat more than I actually say I do. That way I know I'm getting enough and I'm not being an anorexic little pussy. I'm being a fucking <laughs> healthy person, fucking fit cunt that goes out and gets shit done. Not somebody who limits your food because you're afraid of getting fat. It's ridiculous. It's the biggest problem in our culture, man. So, anyway, I had the Daterade, seven dollars, <laughs> 1,200 calories, and I had uh, about two dollars worth of prunes. Uh, that's about 
300 calories. And I had dried figs, about it's, uh, 1,200 calories, five bucks. And I'll see you when I get home. Look at this. Oh yeah, and just to recap, helmet, five bucks, goggles, 10 bucks, and uh, the tail light for another 10 bucks. Wait a minute. The, the goggles must have been 15, yeah. 15 for the goggles, 10 for the helmet, 10 for the tail light. So I got a tail light. So I was like saving up for one that's really bright. Doesn't fucking matter. Go to Walmart, you know, and get a, a fucking tail light. You, it's, it's the law. You have to have a headlight and tail light. But put it on when you're in the rain. You really, I got, I got an LED vest as well, like a reflective vest. You got to have the safety measures. Drivers are fucking idiots, man. Never trust cars, never trust people that drive them. So, yeah, safety first. Uh, you know, expensive safety equipment, definitely the best investment you can make. Before a power meter, you know, before you get a fucking Garmin. Like, I don't have a Garmin anymore. My Garmin broke. Before you get any cool shit, get, get nice you know, bright fucking lights and get a proper helmet that fits. This one's just temporary. I'm gonna get one this weekend that really fits better, but it's tight enough it's gonna stay on my head. Looks alright to me. Okay. Alright, one more tip. This is not a pro tip tip for the novices out there. You gotta wear sunglasses. I'm not wearing them right now. And I don't always, I'll admit. But I'm about to put them on. You, you gotta have glasses something to protect your eyes whenever you're out on the bike I mean I guess if you're just you know cruising around the city like going you know half a mile to your friend's house you don't need the shades but just get in the habit anyway it, yeah uh, the dirt can like hurt your eyes man like if you're actually cruising you know the wind burns your eyes and it, that can't be good for your vision and uh, rocks can fucking fly up from those cars and hit you in the eye like it happens and, uh, you know, God forbid, that would be shitty. So, yeah, as you can tell, when I my commute is my video time. That's when I record footage. <laughs> it's when I go back and forth to work, because that's what I do. I go back and forth to work. That's my life, man. And I'm okay with that. Always looking to improve, but I love my life. Uh, so, yeah, this is my time fucking talk, to have my conversations, to, uh, you know, really be who I am. This is where I can be who I am on the road. <laughs> this is where I feel free when I'm on the road, when I'm moving, when I'm traveling. Isn't that something? Like, I've always felt most alive when I'm on the road, like traveling, dude, that, period. Uh, yeah, you know, I just saw this gun bumper sticker. It's like a anti-gun prohibition. Like, hey, look, I'm not into gun prohibition. I am anti-gun prohibition. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, even like, I'm anti-over-regulation. Do I think guns should be regulated? Absolutely. But I don't trust the government to uh, make, you know, fair regulations on guns. Fairness is just kind of letting people do what they do. Man, but I just don't like fucking guns. That's just my position. I understand people have different positions. Like, I know uh, it depends on your situation. Same thing if you're vegan. There's like two diseases that I know of that are very rare that make it uh, difficult to be vegan. Like, perhaps not really worth it. Just like there are people who I don't blame for having a gun. Like, I understand where you're coming from. But for the vast majority of people out there, I think having a gun is not cool, man. <laughs> no, there's people everywhere. It's hard to speak your mind. Violence begets violence. I was thinking I, I should, uh, you know, put together like a well-composed 
kind of video about my position on guns and stuff. But my position is what it is. I fucking hate guns. I'm against guns. I don't think anyone should own one. I think guns should be non-existent. There are, there are, I understand people being stupid and having guns, really. But that's what it is, ultimately, at the end of the day. If you got a gun, you're being a dumb cunt. I, I think, uh, you know, peace on earth is more important than my own personal life, man. That's what it comes down to. I mean, ultimately, like, humans will probably fuck up everything. I don't think there's any option, like, we're gonna destroy the planet. Yeah, but for peace, when it comes to peace between humans, for our brothers and sisters, I don't make any compromises. There's got we gotta have peace. So you got a gun, you're anti-peace, and you, you're putting yourself before you, the greater good. So uh, you know what I mean. Simple as that. All right. So last little comment for the day. We'll see how good the audio comes out with all that fucking traffic. But now I'm back home. <laughs> well, I just passed a guy who looked exactly like me, cruising the other way. He had like the same bike and everything. It was pretty funny. We both laughed and waved at each other. And then, right after that, I passed this other guy coming, walking his BMX, with no helmet, and an ICP shirt. And he laughed at me. <laughs> So I thought that was pretty rich. You know, no comment necessary. All right.